Hello friends welcome back. In today's video we are going to see how to use ADC of ESP32. We will simulate this on WAC V simulator. We are going to show the ADC values on the 4 digit 7 segment display. We are going to use potentiometer to generate the ADC input voltage. The ESP32 integrates two 12 bits R, successive approximation register, ADCs, supporting a total of 18 measurement channels, analog enabled pins. The ADC driver API supports ADC1, 8 channels, attached to GPIOs 32 to 39, and ADC2, 10 channels, attached to GPIOs 0, 2, 4, 12 to 15, and 25 to 27. The reference value is 3,3 V. The max input value of ADC is 3.3 V and it will generate corresponding digital value of 4096 counts. Let us see the details about the potentiometer by clicking on on question mark. Value of pot is 1K. Let us copy this sample code. Paste in the code editor area. Arrange it properly. We will define the ADC pin afterwards. Let us add VCC and ground for potentiometer and connect to potentiometer's VCC and ground pins. Connect pin 34 of ESP32 to SIG pin of potentiometer. Let us see the details about TM16377 segment display. Let us copy the code for display from here. And paste in the code area. Arrange the code properly. We will assign pins numbers afterwards.
Let us do the connections for 7 segment display. Connect pin 33 of ESP32 to clock pin end. Pin 25 to DIO pin as it is I2C based display. Then connect VCC and ground to the display. Let us edit the code. Do proper pin assignments. Let us simulate. There is an error tm1637.h file not found. Click on the library. Add the library Grove 4 digit display. Now click on simulate. Simulation has started and display is showing 0000. Let us vary the potentiometer. Now you can see values are changing. Now potentiometer is reached to its max value which is 3.3 volt, which corresponds to 4096 of ADC count which is a max value for 12-bit ADC. Let us print the ADC count value and start the serial plotter. Start simulation again. Now you can see the plot for ADC count is rising as the potentiometer is varying.
that's it for the day. In this video we have seen how to use ADC of ESP32. Here we used Walk V Simulator. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video then please hit like button. Please share the video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.